This episode of the Devin Way Show is brought to you by Ace the Engineer, the only other audio engineer I trust to mix the Devin Way Show. If you want your stuff to sound professional, make sure to hit up Ace the Engineer, unless he's with like Beyonce or Patti LaBelle or some shit like that at the moment. Follow Ace the Engineer on IG at Ace the Engineer. Welcome to an all new episode of the Devil Way Show. I am your host, Dev Nasty, aka Dangerous Dev Nasty, aka Choke Your Mom Out, aka Choke Your Pop Out. And I'm a little bit out of breath because I had to run over here because I had to check your camera because I didn't have He looked like camera. he was going through those lasers, <laughs> like where you couldn't touch it. Yeah, like, like, yeah I'm jumping over wires and shit. It's in his ninja bag. <laughs> yeah, because I started the intro without having one of the cameras yeah. on. But uh, we are back with another episode. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to get into a lot of little fun shit today. But, but before all that starts, to the left of me. You already know it's your girl with less than D, the fashionista, the fashion killer, the fashion, everything fashion, uh. fashion, fashion, fashion. Yeah. Just fa I'm just that bitch, period. Oh! 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 That, that's the type of confidence we need. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I, I don't even hear Wally no. say bitch like that. No, I've no, never in my life. I'm nah, all taken back. Nah, you speak that shit into existence. That's called <laughs> manifesting. Yo, I'm Hello, about to. The... Amen. Let's go. And, and, uh, to the left of me. Hey, listen, yo, I don't know if anybody gonna talk that. On, <laughs> two, two P's, baby. Listen, it's the, it's the uh, backstroke savage. It's oh, swimming oh, pool oh. P. Uh. I'm in here. Yeah, I'm in the building. It's the Pyrex professional. You know mm. what I mean? Luckily, we try to stay away from it. That my dad be choking. Nigga. Listen, like, man. Cool. You know that that's Swim Henson, man. That's yeah. Swimmy Neutron, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Swimmy Hendrix. Swimmy the poo. <laughs> <laughs> you that nigga for that exclamation poo. Yeah. Hello. Yo, now y'all just saying nah, anything. The best one was Swim Hardaway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Swim Hardaway was the best one, man. And of course, you know who else we got with us, as always, our nasty girls to the left of me. I'm going to just keep it short, because I don't know if I'm going to top all those intros, but uh. it's Sin City. You know we stay Liddy. Hey. I'm in the motherfucking building. City. Oh, no, I, I'm not gonna rhyme city with city, but you done fucked up my flow, so I'm gonna pass it to Monica Zulato. No, no, listen, we don't, not, no, no, that's not how it works here because Monica. She's uh not she's suburban, so she thought you could just rhyme the same I, word. I, 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 I mean, yeah. listen, rappers fucking do it. You could have got it all in your little no. mini freestyle. I, I, I was nah. gonna flow a little harder than that. Nah. Cause like y'all just saying, gonna have to wait. She's saying Sin City like C I D D Y, but it, and then you say but it derives it's, from it's the City. Same thing. Anyway, it's, the same it's your favorite Milano, Monica. <laughs> All right, well, the, the way show. well all right, you ain't getting no intro then. All right. And the next mom with a big no, bow. Uh, nah, nah. She done, she done fucked up yeah. for Tell intro. Tell violence. Yo, I'm going to keep going if you keep talking. Hey, listen, <laughs> she's... Listen, she's an uh, expert at ruining her own intro. And, that's and, what she and then she complains. And then she complains, well, you know, exactly. people are taking my intros. Oh, yeah. I'm got crying. This. What's going on, everybody? What's popping, man? Well, Be today, poppin'. today, you know, I was in a car with Puerto Rich. I had Puerto Rich come get me, you know. Earlier, right? We driving. <laughs> I, must have got, I must have got on Richie's nerves. I must have. You know, we stopped. And I see my cleaning lady in the car. And I'm looking. I'm like... Oh, that looked like my cleaning lady. And I was like, oh, that's my cleaning lady. So I said it one time. But then I like really looked and I was like, oh, I was like, yo, that's that's my cleaning lady. He was like, yeah. you already said it was your cleaning lady. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Smart ass. I ain't gonna hold you. It was giving me gay vibes. I was almost to the point like, is she fucking the cleaner lady? Because it was like, it was not like that. And it wasn't even just hype. It wasn't even because you was calm. You wasn't hype, but you was like mesmerized. You was like hypnotized. You was like, that's my cleaner lady. Because she probably couldn't believe that she saw her on the road. I look, I see the car. I'm instantly, for some reason, I'm thinking she works at like a cleaners, right? Like where she take her clothes to, the cleaners. But, you know, I forgot Wally be on her. High maintenance. When she got that paper, she invites somebody over. You come clean the crib while I chill. So <laughs> this with that was. She was that cleaning lady. And But then after she said it once, I'm like, okay, cool. Old mommy over there. Yeah, that's what's up. And we talking and shit. So then Wally again. She never said nothing after that. She was still just looking. And then after that again, I hear, 
Oh my God, that's my cleaning lady. <laughs> but no, I really realized it was her. And I was, like, and she let us go in front of her. Yeah, yeah, no, no. no but what was up. it? Was it that did she dress in a certain outfit? No, nah, not see her. her. Do you not, not see her like, in public? I've seen her. No, I've never seen her in public, but I seen her, and I was like, well, I wasn't a hundred percent sure it was her, and I was like, wait, I think. Well, I was like, that's my cleaning lady, because I mean, I was looking like the car. But then, like, once I seen her face, it confirmed it. And I was like, oh, that is her. But does she wear, what does she wear that would make you not recognize her? What is her cleaning attire? No, she, she was in her she car. Come in uniform? She was in her car, but she wasn't facing us. So, like, we're looking at her and she's right she here. She should have said that looks I like think, my cleaning lady. No, no. Oh, that is my no, cleaning no. lady. No, no, she, her cleaning lady, she got a freaky ass cleaning lady that no, probably dresses some not. freak <laughs> shit. No, she's she an old lady. She's Dominican. Her. Now, Shout out to I her, think, I think what it was, though, Dev, and that's why I said that. Like, have you seen her in public? Because I think from Wally, just she's a cleaning lady. This is her profession, right? She shows up to your house and clean. It's almost giving you like maid vibes, right? So I think Wally. I no, 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 no. I'm being serious. It's like seeing I'm me being, naked I'm on the Devin Wayne show. You're accustomed to what? seeing her at Wait. the house. You're you're accustomed to seeing her at the house. Like when it's time for like cleaning and things like that. Right, okay. Today you seen her like a normal civilian mm. driving that her own crazy. car mm. at the light. Hey, Wally, it's me. I got a car too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it was just like a little different. Mm. And that's why I think she was like mesmerizing. Oh, shit. The lady that cleaned my house has a life. <laughs> you know what? That, Wait, can that, we talk about your reaction though? Mm. It was just too much. Like you was coming just, for me, like I like I said something wrong. Was you like bothered? you don't ever repeat like, yourself? You type shit. Like I, no, I wasn't bothered. I was trying to figure out how you were so mesmerized by seeing her, and what was it that had you so mesmerized? Nah, Porter, it was this. It was this. You, I, when I was younger, I remember I used to get like that about girls at at school when I saw them outside of school for the first time. It's like you know, like whatever your interaction with people, especially back in the day. Um, I lived in Camden. I went to Pensacola schools. Mm -hmm. So when I went home, I didn't really see nobody that I went to school with. So if I saw like chicks from school outside, it gave you a different little vibe like, to oh. them. Like, oh shit, or that's so and so. You, like when you see your teacher in the grocery a, store, I was about that, to say that happens. That's a big you be one. like, oh, look at Mr. You, Lawrence. You Joe. never you see like, you your outside. Teacher. You leave school. You outside? Yeah. My teacher, my teacher one time took me all the way home after school, so I didn't feel like that. I felt like, <laughs> yeah. give, felt like me, give me the whole ride. I <laughs> wanted her to come in. And then he starts serving teachers crack cocaine. But anyway. We're not yeah. going to get into <laughs> that. We're not, we not, we not going to get into that. episode. In. But, 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 you know, people, some people like Waleska D do have maids and people like that to no. clean her. You know, Bougie. The clean, the clean Everyone her, has a clean and clean. You know, they clean, <laughs> clean their, shit, their shit. And so do a lot of people right. in, in in the entertainment field and things like that. My that parents had one they electrocuted the queen, themselves. The queen what? of South Camden. Uh, my, when I lived what? with my parents, we had a, somebody who cleaned our house and one of our light sockets was broken. And we specifically put tape over it and like basically don't use they removed the tape and plugged the vacuum cleaner in and electrocuted themselves, which was just stupid because it was taped over. So, I mean, no harm was done. They continued to clean the house, but <laughs> they was just stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, you know, shocking. Your family um, said, back to work. No, you know, they, they were just like, oh, it doesn't work. Well, you removed the tape and yeah. they just, you know, went back to it. Well, they were really shocked, and a lot of people were <laughs> shocked the same way that Wally was shocked to see this person out there. Yeah. But, you know... I say this to say there, you know, there are certain people that make it to a place in life and they can afford to have these things done. Mm. But there's a, a another group of people who um, judge people that are in certain positions, whether it is in entertainment field. Uh, I mean, it's all entertainment, but whether you're a rapper, actor, uh, anything that's in the public light. And often, you know, people in the public light end up under scrutiny for wherever levels they're at. So for example, you'll have a person um, that was a star on a television show, like let's say, uh, remember Elvin from from um, from the Cosby show, right. and then somebody saw him working at a restaurant or, or, or a grocery, like, store, store, grocery store, yeah, grocery store, whatever it was, right? It was a regular nine to five gig. I feel and, like it was Target. Um, I mean, who, who knows whatever it was, but regardless of what it was, the person filmed that person. This is an old story. Um, and made fun of this person being in that regular realm because at one point they were in this higher realm, right? Yeah. So if my, my thing is, if 
the person that films this kind of stuff or has these comments oftentimes has a regular job. So how is a person that is a, you know, that is a consumer or a person that works at a regular job have different um, energy for a person that's on TV? Like they think that they're that much different. So for example, if it's us, right? Right. I'm talk let, let's speak for the Devin Wade show. Mm -hmm. A person could always say, yo, yo why, why your show ain't on fucking HBO, MTV, nigga? Right. Uh, Y'all niggas should be getting this much money, this, this, this amount of uh, views, whatever the case may be. And they'll do that with rappers. You know, we, if we have local rappers that are on the show and they're like, oh, so-and-so, you should be doing this. And might even try to make fun of that rapper because he only got 20,000 downloads or whatever. Right. But... They don't have that kind of energy for their own self. They and you, you you still work and this don't get it twisted. We're not talking about trying to make fun of people that work regular jobs or anything right. like that. We're talking about you at your job are in a certain position. Mm -hmm. And we could always say, well, why you ain't the manager? If you're the manager, right. we could say, why you ain't the owner? If you're the owner, we could say, why'd yeah. you only clear two million basically, this year and not five million this year? Basically what we are saying is, you're no different than the celebrity, yeah. right? No different. The celebrity just kind of like be more like under the microscope. It reminds me of like, almost like religions, right? Mm -hmm. And in religions, They've always said that like the Islamic religion is more under the microscope because of kind of like what they have to do. People can kind of like, no, the Muslims are supposed to have the beard. The Muslims mm. are supposed to have marks on their head to mm. pray. Mm. When other religions, they don't require that. So you can't really pick them apart when you don't see certain stuff that you think you're supposed to see. Gotcha. Right. right? It kind of like rem reminds me of that because it's like if you at your job and you've been at your job. I know guys who've been at their job, right? And there's certain jobs where you might be come in as like a worker. And before you actually reach like a certain level at that job, you got to put in like a certain amount of time and a certain amount of work and a certain performance. Right. Right. So it'd be guys. That's that, damn near every job. Yeah. Right. And it'd be a lot of guys that be at these jobs six, seven years. You took whatever money you can make without that achievement, without mm -hmm. that that, you know, uh, reaching that milestone. Mm -hmm. And you've stayed there and remained there because this is what you had to do. So it's the same thing with celebrities. When they're chasing an acting career, but they might only still be getting 250 for the small gigs, right? And y'all still like, well, why we ain't see this nigga on a blockbuster shit? It ain't his time yet, it ain't come yet. Yeah. But he's still getting paid something for the stuff that he does do. It's right. no different from y'all. It's like saying like, yo, let's put a camera in every job all across America and record a normal shift for years to come and watch you do your shift for years to come. Wow. And we might see why you ain't a supervisor yet. Wow. We might see why you ain't left the assembly line yet. Wow. Right? Because it's the same shit. Or, or we could see you putting in the same good work. Maybe you're the best worker there, but you've been the best worker at the factory 10 years. And you never got to move up the same way that that guy from down the street could be an awesome artist. A lot of things have to line up yeah, for yeah. people to be able to get to a certain point and get certain viewership or listeners. A lot of things got to line up. Mm -hmm. A lot I felt of like things. That happened to myself where it's like I was in the same position for so long. Because it was like, I was good at what I did and I was helping out my store with what I did. So they didn't want to promote me because I was really, really good at what I did. And if they promoted me, there was nobody to backfill me and do just as good as I was Happens doing. Happens all the right. time mm -hmm. with men. What? Yep. Yo, you know how many people that I know at Jobs, man, I remember one of my closest homies trained a guy. The, the boss was leaving, a new person came, he's thinking he's about to take this position. Right. So he's training a dude. Right. Mm -hmm. He finds out after training him for like a week that he's training his boss. Right. Wow. This Crazy. person's about to Crazy. take, his person's going to take that job because he's so good and reliable and you've been there so many years that they know, yo, we need you mm -hmm. to stay in that place because mm -hmm. we not going to find another you to stack these boxes mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Which is unfortunate I because like in businesses, I always mm -hmm. tell people like you are 
So, for example, you know, I've worked in retail for a lot of years, but, like, when I became a store manager at some point, you know, I make sure, like, my assistant manager, like, they knew exactly what my role was. So, you know, you training them because if I'm going today or tomorrow, you'll be able to come in, fill in that role. But, like, you are just as good as your team is. So if your team, if you're not there one day, God forbid, they able to hold it down. That's what's wrong with a lot of these businesses because mm-hmm. it's like they have a high turnover rate because... They're not you, there and it goes to shambles. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, 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 and so in your world, regardless of however or ever it, it, it pans out, it's just crazy sometimes to watch how people judge celebrities um, mm-hmm. or or people that are not celebrities yet, but trying, aspiring. aspiring, right? Yeah. Because in a sense, what you're doing is human worship. You actually are the issue. What you do is you look through a camera lens and exalt people on a level where you think that they are superior to you. That's why you've got higher standards for a person that you watch on YouTube than you do for yourself, your wife, your mom, and your own kids. That's why when they come up to me and they be like, they be like, and and I feel, you know, I just be feeling like, cause some shit probably come from a good place, right? Some people probably come up to you and be like, but you still doing music or whatever mm-hmm. shit like that. But I feel like sometimes it do come from like a, a funny place. Like they say, like you gotta watch people when certain jokes, cause it be a, it be like a lot of uh, truth, truth in people jokes. Mm. So it's like the same thing. And I just feel like when it comes to that funny place, you ain't in no position to be making no jokes. Cause when niggas come up to me and be like, Rich, you still doing music? I be like, yeah, you still work at the glass factory? Mm. <laughs> you still there? Okay, yeah. cool. I ain't, nah, I ain't pop yet. I ain't get a deal yet. You the supervisor yet? You run it? You the director, assistant director? Are you still? Delivering glass down the line. But even with actors, Got too, you. people don't re- realize, too. Like, for example, say if it's a if it's a series. Mm. You know, you probably filming for six months and then not filming at all, especially if it's a if it's a new season or if yeah. it's a new, you know, show. You don't know if it's going to get picked up for a second season. So you did all that work, and then for another six months, a half of a year, you're not working. So all that time, you got to save up that money. So a lot of these actresses and actors, what they do is they go, you know, work at a restaurant and be a waiter or do other things while they're in that downtime. You know, it's not like you're, you're, you know, like athletes where they have to do strength and conditionings during their off season where they're getting paid for that. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's different when it comes to this type of work this is this type of entertainment even with artists and musicians if they don't go on tour and they don't got a new album and yeah maybe Mm -hmm. they might get a couple dollars from streaming or whatever but they really making their money through concerts if they're not going to um doing shows or anything like that they're not making money and and that's a good thing too when you bring up those people that are in those positions there's people who um people make fun of because this is where what i want to go back to is just the fact that i really want to zap people out of the mindset of it's cool to be a fan of someone, to appreciate someone's music, or to appreciate somebody's uh, movies, but it goes into worship when you think that these people are something different to you to where you hold them to different standards. For example, a person will come out with a song. It might sweep the fucking globe, be the Mm -hmm. biggest thing in the world on some big... Uh, Gundam style record, big, or <laughs> don't believe me, just watch, you know, right. with these records. And then people will tease that person because they never made another hit single. Oh, one hit wonders. One, then they call them one hit wonders. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but actually, but actually mm-hmm. try to like clown you for that. But that would be like, a, a song is an invention. Yeah, You invent a song and that song becomes big. If a person only created one invention and his invention popped off, do you clown a person and be like, only thing you invented, my nigga, was, you know, the the blender. All you invented was and, the microwave, and that was it. It's like, <laughs> and that changed and, people's lives. It's like, <laughs> yeah, and, and you generated a lot of money, mm-hmm. fed a lot of people, because what people got to remember is even when a person at a record label has a hit record, you put, it's called keeping the lights on. You kept that record company popping during that right. time if you was chameleonaire and you had riding dirty. Mm-hmm. That shit had that label popping and was bringing in the income. So all the people that work at the desk, the a and rs and all of that, how you think they eat? They eat from the money that's generated from the fucking record company. No, you know? and, and, and they did something. How does someone who did nothing... 
mm-hmm. get to criticize the people who did something? Or how does the person who tried nothing get to say something about the person who tried something? Mm-hmm. Right. I, it, it just doesn't you make know why? sense to You know me. why? Because people got this mindset. I told my son, this is, I don't hear them use it this much anymore. But when my son would play video games, they, they, they had a, a term called tryhards. When they would lose to somebody and they could tell he was concentrating or they're all on the headsets and that person stops talking, that means he's like dialed in. But he's winning. Oh man, he's a tryhard, man. He he only won because he a tryhard. <laughs> yeah. And I would tell my son like, yo, that's some of the most toxic mindset. I know it sounds like I'm just mm-hmm. being extra old man dad, but mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you that that's one of the dumbest mindsets <laughs> in the fucking world. Like, you trying too hard, that's why you winning. Yeah, right. and it's like, yo, like, no, what? nigga, you supposed to try, try hard. hard. Your right. heart is shit. But he's taking it like it's a game. We're just playing a game. Why are you trying now, so hard? Well, what it is really is, is not a game. Yeah. He mad because he losing oh, right. and he needed an excuse. Right. So if you go in a ring and box somebody and they beat you and you your excuse is always, man... I wasn't even really trying. Man, I was just in there just, you know what I mean? Right. Touching him a little you're bit. A he was sport. <laughs> you're a poor sport. And you you you're using a way out, an yeah. excuse right. for why you didn't to go hard on loser. what you wanted to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The reason why you behind is because you don't want to try nothing. I Which, mean, yeah. if you don't, if you don't plan it, right? Like a little kid who's working hard to master this game or whatever, right? This is if Bold. you don't plan it right and this is not your plan then you basically kind of like banking on luck or like mm-hmm. some some blessing to fall out the sky a lot of people you, banking right? on luck in life no and the reason why i mentioned that's because shout shout to my guy poke shout to tpx training you know one of my trainers that i used to deal with physical fitness training like that's one of his like sayings i forget how exactly how it go but he says like that luck is like the residue of something else like really everything mm. you design to chase mm. you design and you go after it and you plan it and you speak it into existence but you also work for it super hard mm-hmm. so bro what you're saying is something like my phone always rings with it with a crazy opportunity and some of my friends that i grew up with they you know they've told me that they have like their own conversations about me that's good that they just be like yo it's crazy how Dev always ends up in this or with Mm -hmm. this person or ends up with this. And I had people tell me like, yo, man, you lucky. Or when they talk about their situation, they're like, everybody don't have things come to them like you. But you work to have those things come for you. It's not luck. People don't realize how much time I, while, while other people out partying, dancing, chilling, watching TV, doing whatever they are doing. I'm in front you of a computer. You had to display talent before that luck came to you. Exactly. Quote that's like that's like next week though. If we, I mean, in six months, if we land on Revolt mm. anywhere, like, is it luck? Some or do people, you guys, some people will say it is. Right. Some people mm-hmm. be like, "Yo, these guys are super lucky," but only if you guys knew what, what goes we've up. had to do. Yeah. So, for example, when when you even when you're watching an episode right now, it's time that went behind this. It was so many hours staring into a screen editing. And I got homies that work with us. Shout out to Ace the Engineer. Shout out to G Visuals. You know what I'm saying? People that work on this stuff behind the scenes and a lot goes into it. But then those things also add on to other contracts and jobs that I get that got Mm -hmm. nothing to do with this. As long as a person stays active, in whatever they, they they have, right? That becomes a stage for you to showcase yourself for all these other things that people, you know what I'm saying? So if you might look up and see Wally styling somebody at their video shoot or whatever like that, they might become familiar with her because they're watching her on a different mm-hmm. platform. So people got to understand that even a lot of actors, a lot of actors that you see were not actors. They were musicians. They were singers. Something didn't go right. It's way more room in the acting world than there is in the uh, record world. Mm-hmm. There's a movie got a million people in it. Right. Yep. When you watch a movie, it's so many people walking in the background the doing extras. stuff. The extras, yeah. but even in the cast of people that Actors did come something. Actors from so many different ages too, from infants to old people. Yeah, you could like, be old. You could be yeah. any range. 
when you're a rapper, like they have this stigma against like, if you're an older rapper, why are you still rapping? Nothing against it, but this is just the stigma that people have towards mm -hmm. it. So that's why a lot of, yeah, like Ice Cube and all them went from rapping and now they in movies and now they doing this because they had more opportunities outside of music. And, yeah. and so, so check this out. So what she says is a great point. So when you got um, a person that you might see that ended up popping off in their acting thing later in their life, a lot of these contacts and connections and agents and people that they built was while they were pursuing their R&B, mm -hmm. rap career. And what happens is now you done built up this Rolodex and the person says, yo man, you you know what I mean? You getting up there, man. You, you, you wanna come try out for some roles you think you could act? Right. It's so much performance in the mm -hmm. other parts, the two things kinda Correlate. Oh, really? If you mm -hmm. could get around the part where you could remember the lines, you probably can do something in this business, even if you're not the greatest act. We see sh hit TV shows that's got some of the people that's not the greatest technical actor. You right. know what I'm right. saying? Like Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> and I guess mean, what? I don't know what about his acting butt. Perfect example if yeah. he's in movies. And guess what, Dev? It's the same thing in that work environment that we're talking about. It's similar. If you in there performing at a high level, you doing what you're supposed to be doing, networking properly. Guess what? You might lead to a supervisor saying, yo, I need that done in my crib. You amazing with that shit. Like, I'm going to take care of you for the crib, John. You, do you do stuff like that? It could lead to, like, side gigs, mm. more gigs. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen it. I've, my dad was exterminated for the city. He used to work. Rodents, rats, roaches. That's what he did. Specialized in commercial buildings and all that. But he did his job so good that he stayed with side gigs. Where people was like, yo, I need you. Can you come do that for my house for a small resident joint? Stuff like that. So it's really about your work ethic, your networking, being a good person, wanting for people what you want for yourself, and putting the work in. Yeah, so it's cool. Like I said, y'all, just don't get caught up in all of that. Um, and, 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 you know, for all the people out there, you call them trolls or whatever like that. Man, it's been times, and I still won't go in on a person. I still won't because I kind of feel sorry for people in this situation. I'll have a person say something to me, and then I'll look at like where I live and how my life is and my studio and everything that, that I have and how, the, 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 the context I have, the places that I can go if I decide to, the freedom I have. And I, you know, sometimes negative comments do affect you. So you click on that person's page and you see their crib. You see the car, how they live, right, 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 and you right. like <laughs> this the? person needs to concentrate on something else with their energy and me. step they shit and, up because and, man, and, and half the time when they reacting like that online, and I know this from example, from experience, half the time they really just still looking for love. They'll come on there and be like, "Porter, shut the fuck up. You talk too much." <laughs> I'll bounce back with a comment that says, "Hey, you're right. I'm taking a look at it." They'll bounce back with. Nah, you really my dog. I'm just fucking with you. Just seeing what you... I'm glad you replied. Like, it really don't even be no hatred. And I had, right. to, I had to teach Porter that because Porter be ready to <laughs> no, drop that. No, that's, that's like... Porter like, be like, drop the Addy. <laughs> that's like how they say, like, uh, no publicity is bad publicity. So they think if they make mm -hmm. a bad comment, it's the same thing as making a good comment because they still under your page. You, they still going to get a reaction out of you. That's kind of they how they're looking at but it. But they don't realize that when Wally said, you know, you know, I'm that bitch, that's, that was something that what he what he talked about manifestation. Uh, yep. manifestation. You not manifesting anything good. You're not manifesting anything dope when you decide to play that role in life. At and like all. I said, it's cool to be a fan because sometimes people get offended by the word fan. Shout out also GB. So Kevin, sometimes he hates using the word fan and he'll try to replace it with fan but really fan just mean a person that's fanatical about your shit mm -hmm. you replace fans, it with what fan, fam. Fan, fam, family fan, fan, oh, fan, okay. fan. so it's like but a person is a, a fan is like oh i'm an eagles fan i'm mm -hmm. a fanatic that's who i cheer for a fan cheers for somebody right, right, right. so while you going and doing your thing the the fans of this show is the people that's like yo i fuck with the devin wade show yeah. i fuck with porter rich well let's right. get the nasty girls i want to see y'all win and they like yeah it's because the, it's cause the, the fan got thing. used it got it got misused people are like oh you're just a fan like you're a dick eater yes, exactly. and, and, and it shouldn't be that because and it's, it's not no, that it's, way over here it's no different than when you watching a movie and let's say you rooting for like the hero versus the villain mm. Mm -hmm. And the hero that time finally comes where the hero's kicking ass. Yeah. And you like, yeah. Hey, I was waiting boy. for him to do that shit. 
It's just a fan. You a I fan actually that? don't like, even say fan. Like, thanks for being a fan of the show. I'll be like supporter. Yeah, I like supporter. I really don't. I don't know. Just yeah. the word. Yeah, because like it, it ended up with that. It with that's because it got this. That's that's right. It got a bad meaning. rap. But that's, how bad, but that's how bad it is. That's just another example that Monica just gave of how bad it is that we had to find yeah. another word yeah. because people really was turning fans into like a dick rider and all this yeah. other shit. It's kind of like a totally... Like some other shit. Terrible. Right. Get it together, people. But um, we're gonna move <laughs> on, man. We're gonna we're gonna try to um we're gonna help somebody, but we're going to get um some women's perspectives about something, man. Mm. And I really want people to think before they just say what they say. Mm. Because somebody <laughs> ended up look, somebody ended up in a situation where I don't I, I can't, I'm not making no excuses for them. Mm. They in a relationship for a long time. What's they've been, they've been, uh, I would think, man, they probably 10 years, oh. probably 10 years. Oh, wow. okay. And, um, in that relationship, you know, stuff dried up, whatever the case may be. Um, <laughs> and that's the, not a, I was going to say, not was a, it the pussy? Listen, Just kidding. Listen, listen. <laughs> I mean, but whatever it is, it's a joke. whatever it is, the person, the person stepped <laughs> out, the person stepped out of a relationship. No. And, it was the pussy. And pay, but this is the thing. They paid for sex. Oh. Mm. You know what I mean? So they ended up hitting a, a prostitute, basically, right? Gotcha. Now, in that situation where they where they end up hitting the prostitute, when they got caught going and paying this person, because I think they went a couple times. Wow. And and they got caught, it of course it go to hell. Now, they're actually kind of together still, but the main thing that I want to touch on is. The, the 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 homie think feels like it's not as much of a violation because it was a business proposal because he be, didn't have a relationship be, be, oh, with oh, this yeah, girl. like because it wasn't even he didn't even say relationship because it let's say he went to the club met a joint vibe that night and took her home and fucked off for the strength that we just fuck with each other tonight right he feel like it's different than I just. W needed something different. I, I I ain't want no connection to nobody. I ain't want to deal with nothing. I paid a John. I hit her off, and that's what it. That's what it was. Mm. And I, and and I wanted to ask the women because obviously he did wrong. He was cheating on his fucking girl. Right. But does it make any difference to y'all? Because I know y'all been in situations where dudes have cheated. Would it make a difference, or is it different if a dude met a John, vibed with her, and fucked her, or met a John and had a side? I feel little like, relationship or if he got if he literally went and fucked some uh, prostitute like, in Vegas. I feel like it is a little bit of a difference cuz if you vibe with somebody in a public setting, that means you have potential of wanting to get to know that person a little bit more based off their vibe. But if you just pay in somebody to give it up, it's a little bit more business. It's less like I got to know you. It was more straight to the point. So I feel like that's where the difference is. Either wrong, I think, or either way, I think it's wrong though. Because if he was feeling that type of way, he should have had that communication with his girl before he just went off and did that. But that's where I think the difference is. The difference is a business proposal and vibing and actually having potential. <laughs> she said to, business proposal. Because no, because these, no, these be those. Like, listen, these be those. Uh, Dominican Republic trips, <laughs> not but, mine, but, but, but no, what? they go over uh, there. And listen, it no. makes it makes sense, and I'm glad you asked that because what Sin is saying. Is really like a lot of women's take on it. Mm. And I'm only saying it because I've seen it from experience. I've heard women say like they can probably get past and work through like a trick situation where right. they man tricked and cheated. Right. right. And it wasn't no, no. But there's a difference between it wasn't, tricking it wasn't, and, and vibing. And, right. right. It wasn't no. But no, no, no. There's a difference between tricking mm. and paying for a service. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, hold on. Hold, no, it's not. No, no it really. is because tricking mm. could come in multiple ways. All right, right? Go ahead, let's get it. Because Paying for a service is literally, I'm giving you this. She knows that she wants it. It's literally a communication. I'm giving you this, and you're going to give me sex, and that's that. Okay. Tricking is, is, is layers to that. You got people that would trick in a way where they're taking them shopping. They're doing this. Yo, I get doing it that. now. So there's a, little, there's a little difference between tricking. Which one is worse for you, Wally? The tricking. All right, yeah, so, oh, facts. because because if I'm, but, but again, this goes back to what Sin says kind of like, <laughs> because if I got to take you shopping and shit like that, we're spending time together. Yeah, right. Right. If, I'm just, you if, if I'm just, that's if I'm just cutting a check, but that's tricking though. That's but, why tricking But listen, works. if I'm just cutting a check, I don't care. If if, you just cutting but, a check and shutting her shopping. I mean, listen. And let her if do you that. charge, if you charge a thousand to fuck, you charge. You tell me you charge a thousand to fuck for the suck for the works, mm -hmm. right? 
And I say, I'm crying. And 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 then whether you say you charge a thousand and that's your price, or whether she says I want to go shopping, give me a thousand. To me, if I cut the check. I'm just cutting the check. Yeah, but you're not going, going shopping you with her. Go, you're not going. So my thing is there's a service here, right? Uh -huh. there, there's, a, there's a line here. There's a service. I'm giving you this money. You're giving me what I want right then and there. Tricking is that you have to do a couple other things right. before jump you hoops. get that. No, okay, that. so so for that. example, so 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 check this out. I want to uh, try to find a middle place for this. I, I hope all y'all find it, uh, following me. <laughs> I'm the voice of reason. I'm the most logical nigga Says out him. here Mr. on YouTube. Mr. Understanding. Says him. So, uh, Mr. I'm, the most, I'm the most logical nigga on YouTube. Yo, so he definitely this says he's Mr. Understanding. All right, so check this out. So you know imagine what? this. I'm going to meet y'all in the middle. <laughs> meet me in the Instead middle. Instead of him giving her the $2,000, right, that she's going to use to get the bag, mm -hmm. yeah. he went to the mall and bought the bag. Would you be more upset of him presenting her with yep. the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather you just pay, fuck, and Bye. See you. whatever she's gonna do with that, that's on you. Now it's it's a thought process now. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go and buy her this pocketbook yep. that costs the amount of money mm. I'm gonna have. No, 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 no. <laughs> now there's a thought process, there's, there's it, hoops, there's, there's obstacles. Like, there's layers to it. Like just give the money. Have the sex. Get out my face. Because you, <laughs> you don't pay your girl for sex, but you do buy your girl bags, bags and things and like that. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. so it's a little more intimate right. exactly. that Johnny Trick Trickster bought me here. Exactly. So you know what's crazy? And I just want to mention this real quick. I don't want to change the topic or nothing, but it's just crazy how we think different in different creatures, right? Oh, because for y'all... For y'all, it's men and women, right? Mm -hmm. And I just want to mention this real quick because it's something to hit Emotionally. me. Emotionally. And, and it's and it's such a it it's, smacked it's, you. It's, yeah, it smacked me. It's such factual. How y'all feel like that, like, yo, all right, if you just fucked, nothing else, just as fuck, you paid her, that's it, she's a whore, I could probably get past it. To us, if you just fuck like that, it's kind of like the worst thing you could do. You would, rather, like you would rather know that Bull was trying to buy her all because, this shit and do it. Because if my wife, if, if you, it's almost yeah, like, it's crazy. almost like, we're like, if you got to know the nigga a little bit, mm. and you now I know better. you fucked him because you got to know him a little bit, you and he snuck his that. way in, mm. it's almost like we'll feel, I, I will feel like you less of a whore. <laughs> and less of like a bad you're person. Because you trying to get to know him. Yeah, like yeah. if you just... Fuck for the money and some quick instant shit. Like you just fucking like hey, only. I cannot. It's We operate differently. It's crazy because how y'all think on an emotional level, like Monica said, and how women think. Like we think more of on an emotional level. If yeah. you out there taking her shopping, taking her out the taking her out to eat, right. we feel like you trying to build some type of right. connection with where, this person. Like wait a though, minute. From a guy standpoint, he will go buy the bag and be like. Babe, but she, that's what she's gonna spend the money on anyway. Like, I just gave her the bag. And he's like, like, no, you went out your right. way. So, so basically, you would rather him pay you, for hold the on, service. Hold on. You would We're rather looking him, at the uh, steps. We're right. looking at the steps. So, you, she, she looked up the bag that she wanted. Mm -hmm. She sent it to your phone. She's texting your phone. Now you're looking at the phone and saying, like, all right, I gotta plan a day <laughs> to, to go, go to the mall, mall to get, get this girl a bag. Like, hold on, Monica. So that's like, hold on, like Monica. Is this how it works, Monica? This is what she, this No, damn, cut it out. I'm just thinking from an emotional no, standpoint. Cut it out. No, but I just realized that there's a lot of tricking going on in my generation. Uh, like, no, I'm glad you, you said that. Hold on, in your generation or in your In, in my your, generation. Your no, I, very, I would love to be tricked. No, but it's, it's very <laughs> In the best no, no, no. way. You, you mean you would love to be tricked? No, I'm tired on, of being tricked. tricked. I want to be tricked. You go no, have so, <laughs> Yo, you no, about no, to no, have. No, that's, that's really bad. That is the term. Yo, she would be tricked. She's yeah. about to have so many propositions in her DM. <laughs> yeah. It's Monica, crazy. Let me tell you something. Fingers the crossed for you, friend. Being tricked on, yes, in the moment, those tangible things mm. are great, right? You get those tangible things. How you know, Wally? I don't know. I'm just not, not speaking from. Uh, but you made it a difference. Like tricking was separate from prostitution. No, so yeah, I want to be tricked. That, it is. It is. You know, and I. And the reason why I say that is because, like, I feel like there's a lot of women out here that that do legit sell their pussy, like legit, like they're literally just. That's the transaction. Yeah. Then and there. Then and there. Right there. It's not like you know whatever they do with the money is whatever. But they're literally fucking. But. What a lot of women do is trick the nigga. Literally, with the word trick, like, mm. I got you. Right. Literally, yeah. the guy. I believe that. A lot of women out here do that. They'll be like, okay, I'm going to go hang with him because I know he's going to take me here. I know mm. he want this. That's you my know. problem. I don't know They, they that. profile these men. Exactly. And they know what they can and cannot get from that man before even going out. So, like, I have some girlfriends who be like, 
oh, guys, my guy friend, we're all eating out here. I know he got money. We're all going to go eat out there. He's going to make sure we're all good. It's like a whole proposition. I've been a part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, there's, but, there's, but there's different scenarios, right? Like, I'm not going to say that all those guys are like that. Oh, no, there's not at all. There's but there's been scenarios. cases. There are cases. But back to, back to you, Monica. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> now, you'll get those tangible things, right? And then say if this guy's a good-looking guy, he pretty dope, but all he's giving you is those tangible things, your ass is going to start feeling away because this is the problem with a lot of people in your generation. Y'all start gaining those emotions, mm -hmm. right? Y'all start feeling for the guy. And then now, y'all knew what the situation was because you're just being, you know, you're just getting taken care of. And that's it. Right. There's no emotional connection. There's no nothing. That's why in this generation that you're talking about, I, there's nobody in relationships. Mm -hmm. Why? Because people want to go to the next nigga that's going to cut the check, cut the check, cut the right. check, cut the check. Yeah. And, they feel, you and they feel like relationships. And don't get me wrong, though. Hold on. Don't get me wrong. Because you got men out here that enable that, too. It's not just the women. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. You Definitely. got men Both that parties. actually choose to participate in this type of lifestyle. Yeah, they they do. rather because chase they rather, they rather chase the money, yep. put their focus on getting the money, yep. and they cool with being like a trick. But, but real quick, something Monica said. There's she said not it feels, relationships out there because they feel like they're already in one. Yeah, because they're getting but, but, but you hear what Monica said, feel like they're already in one. This is what women do often too. They Thanks. deceive themselves. This is what happens. Me to do, and if they can use him, like I ain't going to fuck him. I'm going to just get him to pay for some meals or buy me something. And they do that and they get that out of him and they ain't have to give up no pussy. And then they do it again. But they spending some time with the nigga over time. And now it's looking like, oh, it's hitting a drought. Boy ain't doing nothing. He ain't answering the phone. Because you ain't give him nothing. Right? Yeah. So then what they do is when they do fuck him, they feel like, I'm not really a whore because I actually known him for a little bit now. Right, and we've, we've actually been, been, been out a certain amount of time. But really, the whole play was still bread. They just elongated the whole play. And also, they tricked their mind to think otherwise. Because and, and, yeah. they could say like, no, we kind of dating like I've been out with him mad <laughs> times, but the but you're not counting the fact that you had no interest in him all them times. But also if they see that person out with somebody else and they, they feel like they're about to lose their trick, they will start to develop fake feelings in their heart for wow. a dude that like they feel like they really Yo. like him because they about to lose wow. their dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. It's hold like on, territory. Hold on, hold on, but right, listen. We're going to stick to what you're saying, right? Ooh, they're going to build that emotion, right? Because mm -hmm. they want him to it's come like back. Acting. They want him to come back. It It's not act. It's not acting. Yo. No, it's, it's like really, acting. It's it not yet. acting. Because you really gain the emotion, right? They yeah. really gain that emotion. But you gain those I, emotions I, I, it's real based emotion. on acting. This because this happened to me a long time ago. I'm 33 mm. years old. It happened you got to me a long time ago. Yo, no, let's keep it. Hold on. You got while trick. No, while they're about listen, to keep it real. You, got, you, get, you gain this emotion, right? And you're like, oh my God, like... He likes this other woman, whatever, because you want him to kind of like do what he was doing for you Only. back again. Only. Mm -hmm. So now once you get him back, you start treating him the same way from before. And the thing is, is like you do all that to put him through the same shit. Yeah. And it's right. just like when you grow up and you become an adult, you start to realize like that's fucked up. And, and what's fucked up is if you're the woman with the powers, like let's say Wally was the one with the powers. So this nigga's really tricking, like he he'll buy or whatever. He might have found a girl in between time that do actually dig him. Yep. But he he spend money on her, but she dig him. But he fuck up and go back to the girl yep. that didn't really like him because she got that powers over him. Mm -hmm. And right. he fuck up the Is it thing the power of not actually wanting you? Is it like the chase? Is that what it is? No, no. No, some, it's just because no, she probably some, had the time put in already. And he's like, I'm not going to... I'm not going to switch up on the thing I already been working with for this John, even though he's really passing up his blessing with this John and going back to the John that was just really using him. I think it's no, I don't know. I think it's dynamic uh, situations. Like, for example, if a dude come from the hood, like, let, I'm going to use each one of y'all characteristics. Okay. While, Wally, oh, while, let's do for real, <laughs> know, no, for okay. real. Wally is sophisticated. She eats at all of these what we would call bougie restaurants and things like that. Even for snacks. <laughs> listen, listen. Even listen. the uh, grocery yeah, stores. Yeah, she like goes even to. grocery stores and all of that. So if a dude is from the hood and they and they, you know, but he come up, he got some bread now, 
and he chilling with this chick and she all into this other shit. It's like exotic to him. Like she getting facials and shit. Bro, she was in some shit where steam was hitting her face. Oh ah, my she, God. So she's now showing him some. Be no, like that. but this is how <laughs> niggas feel. No, real talk. Cause I've, I've been through this with bougie bitches before. Right. You feel me? You yeah. see in a different light. But then you might. I'm so, getting anxiety just I'm waiting for him to say some bullshit. No, no. So <laughs> let's say, let's use Monica. Let's use Monica, right? Let's say Monica, she an athlete. She go and she do, she'll get on a ball court with a nigga. But he, I ain't in, know he in his love and basketball b a bag. Mm -hmm. He out there like, yo, we be hitting the court. She know what's shooting going threes on. And yeah, shit. shooting threes. So I you know got, the terminology. So, yeah, free so, spirit. Yeah. So she we fucking could watch the game, game together. So, we could go to the game. Keep going, y'all. She know how to keep going. She a sexy, sexy man after the game. You know she a free and spirit. Then, and, then, and then she twerking. So, right. so, so then you got sin. You know what I mean? If his. Last joke, nice. his other Jones was reserved. <laughs> Sin is out there. Yo, yeah, Sin City, I'm in the building. Cracker. She got, blunt. She blunt with you. I am blunt. pretty blunt. Got She's fun. Twerking She's on him at dinner. She got personality. Exactly. You can bring her anywhere. Right. So when I he, am very versatile, not to toot my own horn. So, so, so that's just the different dynamics with the women here. And if that thing is a special thing that ignites for that man, yep. He could fuck up, even though they all three of them could have no interest in him. They just would want his bread. Let's just say that was the case. He found a John that don't need to have that magical thing that turned him on like that, and he'll jump ship with that and yeah. go back into the fire. He don't know he getting burnt. Yep. And some women, as long as they know they got that power over a nigga, they going to pull him back because they truly were sad when he moved on to somebody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? They was just like, damn, I don't got this nigga no more. And, and sometimes in their brain, they really trick themselves like, I miss him and it is going to be something different yeah. if I get him back. But then they get him back and he still ain't got the swag they like. But you know what it is, too? Like, you really, okay, you really don't care. It hurt. It's a weird, it's a, it's a weird feeling to explain. Like, it hurt. Is it ego? It might be a little ego. Maybe. Because it's like a feeling, it's like a, a unexplainable feeling where like you're sitting there and you're just like, damn, you feeling hurt. But you like, I'm not really going to deal with the nigga. But you trick yourself, like you said, to, you know, to think like, mm. I want him back. It's I'm because, definitely. It's because y'all had a weird partnership that once it's gone, it's like, who else is going to fill that partnership in which we had rotating? And you start to realize it was I mean, easy. Mm -hmm. I definitely, I definitely like, me personally, it's hard because I'm so big on like loyalty, right? Period. Just period. Flat out loyalty, respect and all that shit. But if I had to select, you know, and just in baby boy's case, like I do feel like it's 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 a big difference when there's no strings attached. It is a big difference. You know, if you go on, on vacation. The men's part. Oh, on the guy's part. Yeah, he I mean, went to I Vegas. Mean, he I went mean, to Vegas with I mean, the homies vice, and he fucked vice, a, 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 a I mean, prostitute. Vice versa, let's just be honest. No, you, because you guys, because you guys will accept some shit. That I believe is harder for us to accept. Right. You guys because will take we, us cheating and forgive us quicker than we'll forgive you. Because if we I went on a trip, because we, we went on a trip with the girls to Vegas and we fucked somebody, right? And right. you found out, how right. would you feel? Well, that's what I was guaranteed. Oh, I mean, no, listen, no, no, no. No, suicidal. We were still, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. We would still feel like a crazy type of way, right? Yeah. Especially you, my wife, yeah. right? You, my wife, you, my girl, whatever. Let's hope we're not married. Whole world flipped upside down. Shit. It's it's the same. You was a bachelor in a bachelor party. I feel but like on, that's... But it's the same scenario like Dev said, but it's just reverse. It's me, like, you know, the sex, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Bit. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Nick, once again, Porter <laughs> Richards to Porter Richards point. It'll be way worse if you found out your girl paid for dick. If you found out the ultimate level, it, yeah. it would be the ultimate yeah, level. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier for a girl like, to get dick than it is no, for a guy. No, 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 but I, no. I think Rich thinks differently. Would it, would it be no. worse? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Check this so out. if you went on the other island and just paid no, no, a nigga, it no, where no, 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 no. I just paid for it. It was a stripper, a stripper party. Yeah. The bull came out. Well, let's he, not even he, say no, 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 no. He's a stripper slash prostitute. No, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And she paid him the fuck versus somebody she met got the know. And, and fucked him, or, yeah. or 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 just met and fucked them. If she right. paid money for dick, like yo, this I want that dick. Yo, I got five hundred for you. Let me get the dick. Would it be worse? That would be the <laughs> <ultimate>. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. It's crazy. You know me. Yeah. Nah, I'm He's He's like, like damn, she wanted the dick. He would let it no, no, pass. No, 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 no. I do feel that the uh, <laughs> guy she get to know is still worse. I do. Cause I'm like, I'm just, I'm just be like, at the end of the day, if I find out that you paid, he was a trick, 
and we finally get to the bottom of that and I decide to forgive you. But what is different? I'm like, oh, you tried to boss up like me. You tricked. Right. Because I know for us, I know for us, I'm like, lying. No. <laughs> no, 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 Pain. That's the craziest to say. I would oh, like to okay, give yeah, you. Right, you're right. I, she's that's pain. The, yeah. she's pain. And she's like, I want your dick so bad that I will give you five hundred dollars. Wait, and does this girl what, what have a job? Because no, she what, paid with but, your money. No, but what I, what, what I meant to say, because I'm still on the right track. What I meant to say is that I still feel that. Mm -hmm. Her paying mm -hmm. to nigga to get her little rocks off because she wanted to get it off for whatever reason in the midst of this relationship we in mm -hmm. is better than her actually going to get to know a nigga. Right, what you think? And then that nigga hits. All right, Just so, cause. So, so so imagine what would you so what's a better statement to have to hear? But wolf terrible. A dude being like, yo, I met Shorty, you know what I mean? She was going through something with her man, and we ended up vibing. Like I kicked my little game, you know what I mean, got in her head and I fucked. Or like, nah, Shorty saw me, she seen a bulge and was like, yo, I got 500 to suck that dick. No, no, no. Like, I'm oh, sorry. Listen, it's no, no, I'm not no, paying no, 500. No, 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 first of all, I'm not paying 500 dollars to suck no dick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But if I give you 500, you better go down. Listen, listen. But I'm not paying 500 to suck your dick. Sin, listen, sin. Like that ain't happening. Yeah, I agree with you, right? One would be one would be worse than the other, right? The way that gets said will be worse than the other. But now let me ask you a question: Which one do you think would get back to you quicker? The mm. one with no strings attached, where she paid a nigga, she'll never mm. even know. Yeah. Right. I'll never see this nigga yeah. again in her nah, life. Nah, the or the nigga that she talking to and actually oh, yeah. build a relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. with. Yeah, one's, yeah, one's Which one you think is going to find out? You going to find out yeah. about quicker. One's, go, one's going right. to get back. Yeah, one's going to travel faster because there's more interaction for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. But I'm just saying in but general. But yeah, if you if had to pick, which one you, if you had to pick out of I'd the I'd rather two. my girl fully fell in love with a nigga <laughs> and moved off and been with him for the rest of her life. And you going to be sad? No, you don't mean that. Because Dev gonna be Dev gonna be sad boy talking about stuff. My I'm, girl cheated on me. No, it ain't even that's gonna be hard. You gonna, hold it. You gonna be hard. You gonna be sad no matter what, cause it's over no matter what. I think he'll be I'm sad, but listen, Dev, Dev is a part. Dev, Dev is a part of the over. male. Dev is a part of the men that can like disassociate their feelings. He's with like, no, what you dead to me. Like he can he can like shut his feelings off because what she did was so. You know, vile versus Dev, Dev Porta right. being like upset in the dark no, room no, no, because no. of what she. I'm no, I would be completely in the dark room. Let's so oh, let's okay. be clear. No, I would be completely in the dark room. Either way is over. But he gonna be but like, he gonna a, be like, she from, dead to me, but, bro. But from a pride standpoint, probably right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just know another smooth another ass nigga. A smooth ass nigga came along. And he just had a magical personality not to think like, <laughs> who have I been in a relationship with for these last six years that would buy dick? Like, this is... Like, 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 well, she probably... Like, well, it, 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 but you gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. Dick. You gotta think about the whole perspective. Yo, who got dick Wait, for sale? No. You gotta think about it with the whole perspective, right? No. Like, she hasn't... She it hasn't been spiced up, Deb. Check oh, this out. Yeah. Let me let me paint the yeah. picture. Yeah, good. Right, it hasn't been spiced up, right? It's been you haven't been hitting that John. Like it's been a couple months. <laughs> like she trying, you like, nah, I'm tired. It's not really like it's, it's not really clicking man. for it's not really it's clicking not, for y'all. It's not working. So she like, damn, like, I don't wanna just like cheat cheat. But I'm going to just be at this party and just pay for some services. Right? No, that's what she said, babe. So, so imagine. This if ain't a nigga, clicking for me. A, if a nigga, she came with a PowerPoint. Listen, she presented if, you. If a, a listen, business. No, 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 she no. presented. She had the clicker. If a nigga, slide show number one. This is why I need to no, no, buy some no, no, no. But just, <laughs> if it's at that point, it's a medical issue. <laughs> if it's no, like, I mean, no, no. I'm saying no. If you say I'm not no, I'm saying. It. That's some shit I might have What you just described. I think you just tired and you overworked. No, no. Overworked. You overworked. 
okay? Listen, I, you know how it is. You know you're a yeah, man, right? Yeah, but you ain't <laughs> never going to get to the point where she said you at the point where you overwork. It's much. Are you, you just going to be like look, this? Look, like, yeah, go and get that other dick tonight. Look, 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 you should, you man, don't even worry look, about it. You, yeah, you, 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 you meet, your meat <laughs> shut yeah. off. She, she painted yeah. this picture where he damn near handicapped. No, he's not handicapped. He just tired. He overworked. No, man, he you man, always he tired. He no. better do one of my old moves. I told you before I let another nigga hit my jaw and I'm tired. Oh, you gonna get this dildo action? I cannot. You better Listen, settle for this. Oh, you would before do that. You would rather do that. I would rather just <laughs> fuck. Like, no, no, no. Uh, but what about no. you? Listen, Deb, listen. I know what you would. No, we know what you would rather do. I feel like that's not an no, option. No, because like, you pick no, up. Would you pay. pick up a dildo, yes or no? <laughs> yeah, she, she just wants Would you me. pick up a dildo, no, yes or no? No, no Monica. No, no, no. no, no, no. He's trying to get away. No, Monica, he just said like that. Monica, you guys. If you girl wanted the dildo, you're not giving it to her? Yes, he'll be a dildo dad. You're not giving her a dildo dad. He'll be dildo dad. Yeah, he'll be dildo dad. You're death. not giving her the dildo dad. Yes, he is. Yes, That's he why will. he's not saying no. He is he's not free. saying no. Yo, dad don't like saying a lot of his free he's shit on camera. I've noticed that. Wait, he's he the got the name dad. He's not speaking up for a reason. Monica, Monica wants me on film saying I'm holding dildos. That's yeah. her. He just yeah. said it. And guess what? Guess what? You didn't say you weren't going to do it, so. This is this is her GB. Daughter of GB lineup, and I'm not letting her get that off. Shout all. out to my dad. Yeah. <laughs> we not letting her get that off. But all in all, paying for dick. Because some women might feel so the Deb opposite. Can't get off of the no, 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 no. Some women might feel opposite. I don't know. Let, let us know in the comments. Some women will say, you gave that bitch our money. First of all. You paid. No, no, no. Some, some, some. I, I'm sure that there's some women that would say, you took money out of our household right. and gave it to a bitch because that's why they don't want you buying bitches food, mm -hmm. right? Because we, we, it's yeah, buying food. Yeah, I talked food. about that. We talked about heavy. buying food being this big ass thing, right? So spending money outside the relationship because that's where it start getting deep. That's when your girls say, how much money you got in our son's college fund, but you bought a bitch a bag? How much you put in that new uh, parking garage, we suppose the new garage we supposed to be having. You bought a bitch a bag, especially you, you if it was like a regular service that you're getting because you like, said it was multiple times. That's an expense. You, she's a bill now. Now listen, if That's you just facts. if you just go in there and just do go in for service, I mean, at the end of the day, he could go. He could go to the. Um, the little the massage the, wa the washi wash. She's talking about getting a and, 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 and then, you know, do that as well. So that's so. what I'm saying. What if he went to the washi wash? I, listen, that's where you went. So What's the washi wash? Massage parlor? Washi yeah. wash is like the Jones and Philly like that niggas go ending. to. They go, yeah, they go to the washi wash. They take showers there and get fucked. That's crazy. Uh, oh, 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 I got it. Point is like, a <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nah, uh, yeah, uh, anyway. No, but uh, actually, on, I got tricked. I got tricked into like one of them spots. You What you mean? You got tricked. I just went, no, it was a massage parlor. You got tricked inside or you got tricked to go there? No. It was in <laughs> they the, put you in the shower? Listen, can I tell you <laughs> a story? Okay, okay, we ready. It was a massage parlor. No bullshit on anything I love. I went to get a regular massage, <laughs> right? It just, it just wasn't a, a hand in stone. I, didn't, uh, I don't know if they had them in the area. No, she had your this hand joint, and stones in her hand. It was called handy and bone. <laughs> handy bone. <laughs> no, it was crazy. They be it called was. regular shit like all nah, season. Nah, this four joint, seasons. this joint it's could have been called bone. hand and bone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name. She had for your this stones joint. in her but, hand. No, nah, but for real, for I feel like you can get tricked into like tricking, right? So what happened? Because basically, I went to a spot to get like a regular like massage, and, what and they you know. Say? This happened to a friend what of mine. I'm services? waiting. What were the services that they, they asked that you wanted? They was like, did you just want a regular Swedish, Stone, like... I don't some sucky sucky. They, they, they had them names. I so think what they, they had? What they had? <laughs> I think they... I think they... Uh, like, what did uh, she say? What did she... Okay, hold on. What did they say? 60 minute, 90 minute. What did they it tell you? It was more along them times. Okay. Like the time limit type time. Okay, and I think so I what picked, did you ask for? I think I, I think I picked, no, I think I picked like a 60. I was okay. on like a time limit. <laughs> and I think when she got done, she asked me the craziest thing ever that I didn't expect. When Wait, what was the you? question? <laughs> she asked me what I like, because she massaged me. She cracked my toes, mm -hmm. back, everything, lower back, oh, she legs, she gave back you the works. the thighs, everything works, right? <laughs> and then at the end, she asked me, would I be interested in a mouth massage? <laughs> 
That's what she said. I didn't know what a mouth massage was. I was kind of confused. <laughs> like, how do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I realized that I was in like a trick spot. They give you happy endings. So wait, she was sucking you off. She didn't suck me off. No, she but she asked me if I it. wanted to be sucked off. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying? I that? just went for a massage because I had I was just there for a massage. Okay. I got what I want. I got what I came. So you for told her already. no. You didn't get. You didn't. You lying. It. You said no. no. Come on, man. You said no because you didn't go there for that. Bro, I'm listen. A, I'm gonna make you. Swear bro, listen. To... I've been in massage parlors where I no, went to trick. No, he said no because it was extra. I've got the happy. <laughs> I've got the happy endings. That's what we want to hear. But I'm not a fan of fucking them. <laughs> I'm not a fan well, of fucking them. Most, fuck. If you know about Asian massage parlors, most of them joints be in there be like older joints. It uh -huh. don't be the joints from Rush Hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. So I've never really, I've been to massage parlors with I dudes. Can't. I've been to massage parlors with my guys. It was three of us. And they ended up picking the better joints first. I took nothing. <laughs> I said, yo, we'll go home. I'm cool. It's me, like, I, I turn down pussy all the time. <laughs> you said this 60 minute turned into a 90 year Shit, I've been quick. turning down pussy for the last year. That's I could that. turn down pussy. Like, I'm just telling y'all that when <laughs> I just didn't go there for that, I didn't think it was a happy ending spot. I think it was like a regular little massage parlor where I was at. Oh, God. And I went, whatever, got my massage, and it was done. It was fine, perfect. And she asked me some wild shit. And I was like, what the fuck is the mouth massage? I had a friend who told me a story like that, too. And he was in jail. Uh, shout out to my friend. I'm not going to put him on blast like that, even though a lot of my people probably know him. But uh, yeah, he was in jail. He got out of jail. He went to an Asian spot and he got a massage. And then, you know, he was out of jail. So me, my best friend and all of us, we we're like, OK, like, come over to the crib. So he came over, like, we're all hanging out. And he was telling us this story, how he got out of jail. He went to go get a massage. And he said that the lady asked him a wild question where she like started to like rub on him a little bit. And while she was rubbing on him, she popped the question. I, I can't confirm or deny whether he did it or not, but she definitely like it was the snake was in the grass. Listen, like, what was your reaction hand? before Listen, to be, she to was be, like touching you? To be honest, let me tell y'all something. To be honest, that's the bad thing about women. Y'all think we don't turn down no pussy. Yeah. Y'all think we won't turn down a dick suck. Y'all think we that like bad when it comes to sex. That if a bro just comes and offers some shit, like we that much of dogs and no respect for ourselves and no type of standards for Speak ourselves. Speak for yourself. No, no, but, 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 it's, but I'm sure it's more men out here no, like men. The problem is, it's, it's rare. It is more rare. That's why. That's that's right, right, right. It's probably more rare because y'all y'all probably had more experiences with those trick niggas that put they meat in anything. I've been, I remember just recently, rest in peace to Shorty because she passed away. Oh, Crazy wow. situation. But my homies, no, my homies was with me. I was in the line at a club and the shorty came up. I seen her around, never knew she felt the way she felt till that night when she came up and she said, what's up? You be bullshitting. I'm my homies right there on everything I love. I said, bullshit, what are you talking about? She was like, you know I want to suck that dick. You playing. <laughs> my homies looked at me. They said, nigga, you playing like that? I thought about it. I laughed it off for a second, right? Just to get out of there because I didn't know what to say. It was so... That's what I want to know. Like, is it on, awkward? On, let me finish. It was so off guard, right? I'm not that and, 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 and I got out of there real quick. Like, ah, I laughed it all out. Ah, you crazy. Yo, you crazy. Now we're going to talk. We're going to rap. Whatever. But then after that, I had to think, well, how many other guys has she done like that? <laughs> know what I'm saying? And then I'm really thinking, do I really want the... It's the same thing with pussy with me. Do I really want that mouth on my dick that's been on a million dicks? Are probably? most guys thinking like that? Do hold on. No. Do I really no, want? Right? Do I really want some of this pussy that she didn't allow a million niggas Wait, to put their meat in? Wait, but can I say something? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not knowing where the million niggas' meat's been. No, but listen. Just because she was more blunt about it, don't mean that you didn't get top by a girl who was a silent killer who probably had a bunch of dicks in her mouth. That's a fact. Well, that's, that's a fact. fact. But guess what? That's the a truth, fact. But, but, but the truth always but, says... But it's your we, mental because you know that she that she probably exactly. does it. Exactly. Yo, Porter, your head. Like, and, why and we feel like what? she's like, going like, to like, like, But a lot of times, even women say it. A lot of times, you're right, Sin. We'd rather not know. That's what I'm saying. It's a mental thing because no. the, the silent we killer that sucked your dick probably had... A bunch of other dicks in it too. She just was less blunt about it. But when we, but but uh, but it's when we know that it's an issue. Right. What I don't know don't can't affect right. me. Yeah. Women no are way mad aggressive nowadays. Me. They're definitely getting up Wait, there with what, their blunt. No, no, no. Women are definitely right. aggressive. They Wait, grab what's dicks. that little pump song? Yeah. Nowadays, women can say, "I want to come, motherfucker." 
I believe, What's that listen, song? I believe, you know the listen, song. men, listen, men don't get, Never mind. Listen, I let quit. me tell y'all something, let I me quit. tell y'all something, quit. and this is no disrespect to women, right, because yeah, I love women, my mother, mouth. my mother's a my woman, mother's a woman. <laughs> right, and I got <laughs> married, no, 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 Get exactly, no, exactly, and we make this world run hey, together, I hope your mom's a woman, we run, we make this world run together, but let me state a fact real quick, men don't get paid to fuck, men don't like the only way we really f fucking and getting to that is when a joint really feeling us and like us or we going i guess pay them right and that's their job or whatever like i just feel like when it comes to like y'all situation you know y'all situation is different and it's almost like harder to deal with because we don't got that perk we don't get those perks and those privileges women get that type shit we got to worry about that shit as men because the women is the one who, yeah, a nigga be quick to dump 500, 1,000, especially if you of some type of stature, you got yourself yeah. together, you take care of yourself. We don't get that type w of shit. Women's way of tricking is with PlayStations and shit like that. They do have them type niggas that they, you know, they loan the will to and shit like that, yeah. you know, and get the dick. And that's why you see. They buying rentals for the dudes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of that going on. Oh, I'm most of the mo mo Girl. Yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. the wheel out, everybody. Yo, heard, yo, heard yo. what Biggie said. Biggie said, uh, all them Playboy bunnies, they be wanting money. He said, they's the, he said they the ones I like because they don't get nothing but penetration yep. unless it smells like sanitation. Garbage. I <laughs> turned down like doorknobs. We don't want no trash yo, smelling yo, shit. Yo, yo. Come on, we come from that era. Biggie Smalls, rest in peace, man. We ain't paying for no pussy. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Whoa. Hey, yo, listen. We got the wheel out, y'all. Um, well, this is what we uh we, we will pay for. Uh, uh, only y'all pay we for. We don't pay for pussy. You I'd rather pay for you. Right I'd rather now. pay Shut for up. you. I'd rather pay for you being a solid, good person and a real nigga to me, and I'll buy you a bag. That's facts. They, I ain't paying there for thirty. I ain't paying for thirty minutes. 40 minutes of some shit that other niggas is getting. You know right, why? Because niggas don't want... Let, let me tell you Fuck some out females here. out there. Niggas don't want a female that's naggy, that just always begging, begging, begging. Niggas don't want a begging-ass female. I'm sorry. I mean, there might be men out there that want that, but they don't want that. They and, want peace. And we don't want no beat-up pussy. <laughs> we don't want no pussy that smell like something because you done let so many motherfuckers get in it that you think some cheap perfume could kill it. We don't want it. Fuck out yeah, of tell Yo, me how you really feel. Because every they nigga, think the summer's eve is gonna kill it. Nah, for real. Because every <laughs> nigga, every nigga ain't out here just tossing that dick out. <laughs> <laughs> So are they paying for pussy about the Yo, can we, get a spin, can we get a spin on the motherfucking wheel, please? What about money? Oh, okay. Richie, you about to pay for some ass right Yo, now. It's like, no. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> that was a good one. The suspense is killing me. It says, bounce them, John. That's where I'm from. Hold on, hold on, I still got money to throw. We gonna keep going. Throw that money. Throw that money. Uh, 